Hello and welcome to this episode of Inside Southeastern Football with Head Coach Ron Roberts. I'm Alan Waddell and we're taping right here from the Victory Club where we're right around the corner from kickoff as your Lions open their 2013 season against Southeast Missouri right here at Strawberry Stadium. And Coach, it's hard to believe it, but a whole year has gone past and we're about ready to kick off the 2013 season. I know you got to be excited. Oh yeah, we're, we're very excited about everything that has taken place over last year. Not just our players getting themselves prepared. Uh, recruiting, but the upgrades to, the, to uh, our facilities and the stadium, and, and we're very excited about everything 2013 brings. You're talking about the upgrades of facility. If you haven't had a chance to walk through the Dugan Center, some new murals have gone up in the lobby, also in the football area, and then also right over our shoulders here is the new video board that's gone up that has really enhanced the atmosphere here at Strawberry Stadium. No doubt. It's, it's uh, obviously an exciting time to be a Lion, and we're excited about where our program's headed. Well, Coach, we're going to take a look at this show as we're going to break down the offensive, defensive, and special teams unit. Also take a look at the 2013 schedule. Uh, you brought in some new pieces this year. Uh, there's a lot of buzz going around the Hammond community about your program. And I know when you took the job here, you said we're here to compete for Southland Conference championships and compete for national championships. And I know from talking to you off the air, you believe you're closer going into this season than you were a year ago. Well, obviously, I, th I think we made some huge strides forward in that uh, talent-wise and obviously getting our young guys uh, just getting more developed and ready to go. So we're excited that we're getting the pieces of the puzzle together. But, you know, right now we still got a lot of work to do. We've got some things we've got to get better at. And, and you want to see this progress, obviously, throughout the season and get better on a weekly basis. All right, we're going to start the show by taking a look at the 2013 Lion offense. Here's the story. Coming off a season in which it won five of its last eight games while posting its best finish in the Southland Conference since joining the league back in 2005, the Southeastern Louisiana football team under second year head coach Ron Roberts looks to take the next step in its chase for a conference title. With 49 returning letter winners including 18 starters along with a very talented group of newcomers on the roster, the expectations at Southeastern have never been higher. Seven starters return on offense with three returning on the offensive line highlighted by All-American candidate Gaston Gabriel. Gabriel, a 6'5", 300-pound senior out of St. Francisville, Louisiana, started all 11 games last year and was second team all-conference. Left guard Jeremy Wilson from Galveston, Texas will join Gabriel. The 6'3", 305-pound senior started all 11 games in 2012, along with Lake Charles native Marshall Paris. Paris, listed at 6'2", 280, started all 11 games in 2012 at center for the Lions. Joe Graves is back this year along with Taylor Romero. Both Graves and Romero are running with the second team as they continue to improve their game. Some newcomers to the offensive line are left guard Lawrence Ramsey. Ramsey highlights a group of talented junior college transfers that include Ryan Cockerton, Jonathan Braddock, DJ Williams, Jesse Miranda, along with the incoming freshman Travis Romero and Charles Satakra. The Lions continue to improve up front and with three fifth year seniors anchoring the first team, the play of the offensive line as a whole has improved. We're real pleased where they are right now. I think they've, we're, um, you know, as you said, we got three guys coming back and then a bunch of new guys. And so we're still working hard trying to prove and get better every day. But we have much more depth than we had last year. Man, we've been together since 09. So we all, we all been in the trenches. We got our battle wounds. And I feel like us being as close as we are, we keep the old line, we keep the old line together. I have so much experience in the fact that I think we're doing, we're ready to handle it. We've seen a lot of situations and we have plenty of experience and that's to be needed on the offensive line leadership. In the past, we've only had about one senior, one or two seniors on the old line. This year we have three. We've all been together since 2009. One of the big things that we just try to get together is we just try to tell the guys just take it one play at a time. That's one a lot of things the young guys don't understand is just take it one play at a time. And one thing is we can't do it without the young guys. We have, I don't know if anybody knows, but we have also five juniors and we have some freshmen that are coming in to play too. The player who will benefit the most from an improved offensive line is quarterback newcomer Brian Bennett. Bennett has been the talk of the town since announcing during the offseason that he would be transferring to Southeastern from the University of Oregon. A six foot three, 205 pound junior hails from Encino, California. Brian saw action in 18 games for the Ducks over the last two years. Boasting speed, athleticism, and a strong arm, Bennett is a dual threat quarterback that will bring some new wrinkles to the offense. Bennett has spent this past offseason working with offensive coordinator Greg Stevens to learn the Lion playbook and offensive schemes. I'm really excited to see what we're going to do this season. Um, you know, I think we got a lot of guys on the team with great skill set that can really play some ball. And, um, you know, I know we've been working hard in this offseason since spring. We had, a, we had a good spring and added some more guys since the spring. Um, so I'm just really excited to see, you know, how everything plays out coming into fall camp and going throughout this season. Well, he, he brings a lot to the team, especially athletically. He's very athletic and can really run and he can throw the ball. Um, and the thing I'm pleased with is he keeps getting better every day, I think. And he's been working hard. 
Behind Bennett on the depth chart is junior Jordan Barnett. Barnett has battled injuries since arriving on campus. Barnett has a firm grasp of the playbook and has the faith of the coaching staff and his teammates that he can be an effective signal caller when he is on the field. Also working out with the quarterbacks is Pasadena, California native Justin Postuma and Denham Springs native Tanner Wells. Southeastern will continue to feature a balanced attack on paper and have a deep stable of running backs ready to make an impact. After 2012, the need for depth at the running back position was evident as injuries forced a pair of true freshmen to carry the load. Xavier Roberson and Rasheed Harrell were up to the task. Rasheed and Xavier both had good fall camps and we're real pleased with where they're at. And obviously, you know, I think they both put on quite a bit of weight from last year so they're a little bigger and faster and stronger. And and we're looking forward to the year and the seasons those two guys can have. Oh, the fall camp is going pretty well. Uh, all the backs getting in the notice system really well. We getting stronger, getting faster as the days go by. I mean, we're really just coming out every day trying to get better every day. The backfield is really strong. The Lions rushing attack will also feature newcomer Cody Sutton. Sutton comes to Hammond after playing his freshman season at the University of Wyoming. Also new to the Lion backfield is junior college transfer Darius Guy. Guy rushed for over 850 yards and nine touchdowns last year at Copiah Lincoln Community College. The Lions will feature a veteran receiving core heading into the 2013 season. Leading the list of returnees is senior Tony McCray, who was honorable mention all-conference in 2012. McCray will see action as the ex-receiver. McCray led all the Lions in receptions last year with 28 for 401 yards. McCray will be joined by fellow senior Marquise Frugge, who had 24 catches last year, sophomore Jeff Smiley, who had 21 catches in 2012, and Chris Mallott, who had 10 receptions last year. You know, those four guys you mentioned, they're, uh, we're real pleased with their, where they're at. They've worked real hard this summer, got themselves in great shape. You know, we've had a couple small injuries. Tony's been out a little bit with the hamstring and stuff, but he, he's getting back. Marquise missed a couple practices with his knee, but we're real pleased with those guys are. Newcomer Marquise Hayes, Isaiah Kepley, Devontae Scott, and Kendrick Peoples round out the Lion air attack and should continue to build on last year's success. The last position on the offense that needs to be looked at is the tight end position. The Lions have two veteran tight ends in Jeremy Myers and Taylor Jenkins. Myers finished 2012 with 21 catches for 190 yards and Jenkins caught the fourth quarter touchdown that saw the Lions finish off in-state rival McNeese State last season. Carl Pearson could also see playing time at tight end. The Lions offense has been hard at work in fall camp since August the 2nd as they try to mesh the returning talent with the newcomers in hopes of putting some big numbers on that new Strawberry Stadium scoreboard this year. Well, Coach, a year ago when you looked at the offensive side of the football, it seemed like there was a lot of new guys. Well, this year, a lot of those guys that played quality snaps a year ago are back for this season. And I know a big buzz around Hammond has been the addition of quarterback Brian Bennett, as this looks to be a very exciting group on the offensive side of the football this year. I believe so. We've got a, a huge number of veterans, guys coming back with game experience, and we've added a lot of weapons on the offensive side of the ball. I think we've got a depth of skill players there that are going to be able to, uh, to make some things that happen exciting for uh, our Lions in 2013. All right, well, let's take a break. When we come back, we're going to have a lot more for you right here on Inside Southeastern Football with head coach Ron Roberts right here from the Victory Club. Inside Southeastern Football with Coach Ron Roberts is supported by Louisiana First Choice Auto Auction, located in Southeastern's hometown of Hammond, Louisiana. Louisiana's First Choice Auto Auction is a dealer-only auto auction locally owned by John Poteet. Louisiana First Choice Auto Auction has been doing business in the Hammond area for over 11 years. For more information on Louisiana First Choice Auto Auction or their upcoming third annual charity golf tournament, please visit www.lafcaa.com or visit Louisiana First Choice Auto Auction on Facebook and Twitter.